Law enforcement veteran Derek Dotson knows all too well that interactions between police and youth can end badly. His perspective as a black officer means he's experienced both being on the front lines of law enforcement and being subject to devastating repercussions of use of force. It was in the wake of the tragic deaths of multiple black Americans in 2020 that Dotson was inspired to write this book you're looking at right now, The Police and Me, something he hopes can help both children and officers, and he joins me now. Thank you for coming into the studio. Thank you for having me. So you said it was in 2020 that you knew you wanted to write this book. Right. What were you seeing that led to you saying, I gotta write a children's book? Well, you know, initially, it was a lot of the parents. It was a lot of parents that came to me saying that they didn't know what to tell their children in regards to how to interact with police because they didn't know what to do themselves. Mm -hmm. And with that being the case, I thought about it and I said, you know what, they should know these types of things. And at the same time, I had kids coming to me, mm -hmm. teenagers also saying, I don't want to get my license because you know I don't want to get pulled over. Yeah. And that's black, white, brown, tan teenagers. And I wanted them to know the things that I know so they would be safe in these situations and have those situations remain as uneventful as possible. So I'll give you guys kind of an idea what the book about is about. The Police and Me, it's a story about a young boy who is very nervous when the police pull his dad over. Mm -hmm. What is the goal as it relates to what you hope kids learn from reading this book? Well, spoiler alert, that's about me and my son, Duke. Uh, he's really? Four, he's four years old in real life. I made him six years old for the book so we could have better dialogue. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so, but um, what I wanted people to learn from the book uh, specifically is, you know, who the police are, what they do, mm -hmm. and the biggest takeaway in the book is how to interact with police as safely as possible. And the thing is, is that adults don't know this type, uh, this yeah. type of thing, parents don't know, and the, oppor you know, the opportunity to be able to read to a child and then you, at, the, at the same time you learn, um, that's, that's the win-win that's the right there. So it's a crazy situation, these two roles that we're in as folks. You know, the book is not just for children, it's for police as well. Yes. What role do, you, do the officers play in, in promoting positive interactions with citizens on a daily basis? Well, first of all, it's, it should be all about empathy. Mm -hmm. you know, we have to be able to see from e each other's point of view. Um, you know, one of the things I'm doing is I have an ambassador program that I'm la launching nationally. And so if police departments are going to be able to buy the book and they're going to hand them out to kids in, around the country. And at the same time, that gives an opportunity to be able to interact and to teach and be able to talk about, about the book, about what they do. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great opportunity to learn, but it's also an opportunity for, to kind of fix the division, to you know, work towards healing um, after all the things that we've been through in the last couple of years. And speaking of that, you know, some might think that maybe a children's book glosses over some of the very real problems between police and young black men. Um, I'm sure you've heard some of these concerns. What is your response? Well, I mean, race does have a part of it. Mm -hmm. It has part, it has something to do with it. But, you know, and I've experienced a lot of these things myself. You know, mm -hmm. although I've worked in law enforcement, I've also been pulled over more than four dozen times in my life. Uh, my cousin was also killed by police. I've had an opportunity to talk to people who have suffered in these types of different uh, experiences. But at the same time, I want to make sure that people have uh, the information that I have about, uh, about this. When you look at if it's only race, that we look at, and mm -hmm. we don't get beyond race. We don't fix anything. Race has a lot to do with it, yeah. right? Uh, there's some some to do with it. It's uh, disproportionately affected African Americans yes. and Black Americans, but it it affect, it affects all of us. The law, you know, affects everyone. So I want to make sure that everyone knows these things. And so when we get deeper and we start talking about the law, when mm -hmm. we start talking about police policy, um, we start talking about procedures and things like that, culture. Then we start fixing things. But if we stay at race, we don't fix anything. Yeah. Another layer to this, as I was doing some research for the book, I came across a really fascinating review to your book on Amazon. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, one parent wrote, finally a kid's book about cops that is not copaganda. They said the person, the person went on to say that they have an eight-year-old with autism and then they worry that, mm. uh, that this could lead to horrible interactions with their child and, and the police in the future, but they said that they're grateful that the book actually educates kids on these interactions. Mm -hmm. Is this the type of feedback that you hope for? Absolutely, absolutely. And that's something else that I've been talking to people about, some autism experts around the country mm -hmm. um, and that talk about autism and interactions with law enforcement. Um, they say, you know, black, male, and autistic are the dangerous three. And so having, uh, knowing what to do in these situations for, uh, for parents and at the same time having an opportunity to be able to teach mm -hmm. people what these situations might look like mm -hmm. and how to interact, you know, what, are, you know, what should that, that engagement look like? Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to talk about 
uh, people talk about respect. I like to talk about courtesy. Okay. Right. You know, a lot of people talk about like, you well, know, respect and obey police officers. Respect is one thing, um, but respect has to be earned, both ways. Yeah. Courtesy is something that we can all do. We as, can all as, give. as human beings, we should all be courteous to one another. We can be kind. We can be polite. We can acknowledge, hey, you have a hard job. Yeah. And that officer can look at, you know what, this might be a scary situation for you. Yeah. And we look at that, and I think when we start there, and I, I think we could go a lot further, a lot, you know, a lot faster, if we just start with a little bit of empathy and a little bit of courtesy. We can all give courtesy. What Absolutely. A great lesson. I can't thank you enough for coming here today Thanks and for, for sharing me. this and, and yeah. for the book. You can find it now. Uh, I found it on Amazon. You can find it in many, many places. So thank you so thank you. much.